Us. Right now, a special meeting is underway in Marysville to determine what happens next to the historic Marysville Hotel. You may remember last month a fire destroyed the vacant building, forcing the city to declare a state of emergency. And traffic has been a big headache ever since. ABC 10's Devin Truby has been covering this issue since the beginning. She's stepping out of that meeting to join us now live with an update. Devin, what's the latest? Well, Chris, that meeting is over and they have decided to pass an emergency ordinance. The ordinance will allow the city to pursue a warrant and that warrant could allow the city to demolish the building themselves because it's been about a month since a fire destroyed the inside of the vacant historic hotel and almost about a month since Highway 70 has been closed on both sides, creating that massive traffic nightmare. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go. Um, being a part of the community, I think it's a duty of mine to be involved. Christopher Marin, owner of the Lighthouse Barber Shop in Marysville, has been looking forward to Tuesday's City Council meeting. For the last month, Marin and other business owners around the now burned down historic hotel have been suffering because of road closures. The city fenced off 105 feet around the hotel in case of collapse, impacting Highway 70, a major thoroughfare in Marysville. Both the city and business owners want the building torn down. Coming down, as weird as it sounds, I think it could be something good for the community. Just rip the Band-Aid off now and just tear the, tear the hotel down if that's what we need to do um, to get the businesses back open. But the question is, who is going to pay for it? The city wants the owner of the building, Feather River LLC, to foot the bill and says it gave the owner's legal counsel until July 18th to consider its proposal. Um, we obviously don't want to see it demolished. It's a historic building and it's, frankly, it's private property and it belongs to my client but there is no emergency that requires this building to be demolished. Further, the city has not given us the due process that it's legally required. Now, as city leaders discuss a plan to move forward, business owners are hoping no matter who pays for the demolition, it happens sooner rather than later. It's more than half that I've lost. It's pretty much drowned out any new business. We have no cars going in front of us uh, for the last three to four weeks. Marysville City Manager Jim Scad posted this message on social media saying, quote, our city staff and council are doing everything we can to make conditions safe so traffic can be restored to normal, while at the same time protecting the city's residents from bearing the financial burden of what is the responsibility of the property owner. Reporting live in Marysville, Devin Truby, ABC 10. Mm -hmm. Please stay with us for updates on this developing story on air and online at ABC10.com. Devin, thank you.